There are some who question the existence of hills in Kansas. The flat prairie lands that dominate vast portions of the state lead these doubters to embrace such foolish belief. I've been to Kansas a dozen times and I've never seen a hill. There are a few, though, brave souls, who insist, like Bigfoot enthusiasts and UFO freaks, that Kansas is less flat than once believed. Their lonely voices cry out in desperation. Hills are everywhere. I don't know why some can't see them. One believer, a single cyclist from the small town of Argonia in south-central Kansas, has done what few before him have dared. He has bestowed names upon the hills he rides regularly. Every rise within 10 miles of Mike Neifert's humble home has been so honored. Dad's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Nearly a dozen inclines bear Mike given monikers. I just feel like a slope, no matter how small it is, deserves a little respect. Everest isn't the only hill on Earth. There are others, Pikes Peak's cousins, that, though less steep and less tall, are no less in need of the love naming conveys. My Kansas hills are loved, loved more deeply than McKinley or Kilimanjaro will ever be. And so, the hills have names. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh. A short ride, a mere three miles to the east of Argonia, brings the cyclist to the first of a series of rollers. Mock Hill, named not in derision of its majesty, but in honor of the excellent people who occupy the dwelling at its summit, descends rapidly to a narrow valley. Immediately after crossing the bridge at Mock Hill's base, the ascent of Bruce Hill begins. This climb, like its cross-veiled twin, is named for the man who lives at its crest. Often on eastbound out-and-back rides, the hill's namer sets his maximum speed, plummeting down Bruce Hill headed west. Continuing east across a desolate plateau of sorts, the lone rider comes next upon Cemetery Hill. Mylan's dead keep silent watch as wheels spin into a wide, flat valley dotted with oil wells and storage tanks. On the far side of Death's Dark Vale, the road slants upward once again. Just to the north and slightly west of the town of Milan, the long, torturous climb up Antichrist Hill commences. The next one and a half to two miles of riding suck tents off even the best rider's average speed. The name of this hill has nothing to do with the kind people who live atop it. It's just that the summit is 6.66 miles from Mike's front door. 666! Get it? Moving right along. About a mile beyond Antichrist Hill is Black Dog Hill, named for the lazy mutt who occasionally barks at a rider passing by. Barks, but never gives chase. Across the valley from Black Dog is the final climb of the eastward journey. Nine Mile Hill is a giant compared to the rest. More than a half mile long, it climbs quickly upward, a veritable wall after the previous five. Our trip east completed, we return to Argonia. From there, we will explore the five remaining monsters, one to the north, two to the west, and two to the south. Almost 10 miles north of the Danville Co-op, Clearview's Trivial Peaks rise above the Chickaskia River Valley. Just west of Argonia Road on Parallel, the true summit of Clearview Hill on sunny days provides tired riders stopping to rest a breathtaking view to the south. Unfortunately, the day we arrived to shoot this footage, it was not sunny and the vista was drab and brown. Returning again to town and riding west, the first climb encountered is Druid Hill. Francis Druid has lived atop this behemoth for nearly a half century. His alpine farm ground is a feast for the eyes of those brave enough to face the steep eastern slope. Further west, across a two-mile false flat, rises one of the most feared ascents in all of Kansas. Lop Dundee, the first hill named by Mike way back in 06, reminds seasoned riders of the more famous Alp d'Huez, conquered by Lance Armstrong and others in the Tour de France, minus the altitude gain and the multiple switchbacks, of course. This monstrosity was made briefly famous when it appeared in the 2009 film, The Road to the House Where Evil Dog Dwells. Lop Dundee will long outlive those who mock its tilted path. One final return to Argonia allows the rider to complete his tour of the hills. Riding south from Highway 160 through the heart of Argonia, a rider first encounters Railroad Hill. Atop this rise, the BNSF boys race this way and that all day and all night long. A train braves the heights of Railroad Hill on average every 20 minutes. Cyclists are wise who look both ways before beginning their ascent. The last of Mike Neifert's named hills, Tracy Hill, begins just over a mile and a half south of the Chickasaw River bridges. For more than a mile, the rider suffers as he climbs the dizzying heights. 
There is, for every true Kansan, noticeably thinner at Tracy Hill Summit. The view of Argonia far below has caused more than one experienced rider to faint. The rider of Argonia has spoken. He has spoken, and the hills have names. The hills thus named await the world's elite, and those few amateurs who dare to climb what ought to be feared. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, and the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day.